नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन एंड दिस इज द सीरीज ऑन जर्नी ऑफ नेशनल आई सी टी अवॉर्ड ही टीचर वेल टूडे इज थर्सडे एंड ऑन थर्सडे इज वी ब्रिंग यू अ जर्नी बाय वन ऑफ द आई सी टी अवॉर्डीज एंड द जर्नी इज डिफरेंट ऑफ फॉर एवरीबडी there are various ups and downs challenges and of course the covid-19 duration which was heavy for everybody teachers cope up with this pandemic and they still had that spirit had that passion to deal with the pandemic and they kept on teaching their children from uh, ways some ways or the other so i am tanvi khurana and we have a guest with us and uh, she is miss s chitra a very warm welcome to you ma'am Hi, namaste. Namaskar, ma'am. Ma'am is a TGT in English from Government High School, Asthana Puram District, Chengal Patu, Tamil Nadu. So uh, we have a lot of questions to ask, ma'am, regarding her journey. If you also have something or the other in your mind which you need to clarify, then please ask her. You can simply call her on our number, which is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. If you want to email us, the email ID would be training dot help desk at the rate cit dot nic dot in. At this moment, you're watching us on PME with their channel number six to channel number twelve, and also on our YouTube channel that is N C E R T official. In the live chat box of the channel, you can write down your questions, your queries, and share them with us till five o'clock. She is here with us, and uh, she'll be more than happy to tell us every detail of her journey. so let's ask her that uh, what exactly uh, was in her mind when she started this journey ma'am how did you begin this journey and uh, we also are very curious to know that in which year did you receive your ict award ma'am hi everyone there and uh, first of all thanks to ncert and all the people behind the scenes who are uh, Continuously struggling to bring it out all the teachers' goodness in through this program, and uh, as you told me, actually I was uh, posted in nineteen ninety six as a second degree teacher, and uh, at present I am working in this school, government high school, Astina Pram, uh, which is located uh, in a it's a small hamlet actually. I received my award in 2011, and uh, actually uh, the award is uh, something which is a crown, <laughs> on crown on us. And first, I would like to thank because uh, as you are seeing my screen, uh, my plan is a single flat. Thanks to Suti for this. But God always blossoms my life throughout my life. like that first i want to thank everyone each and every one who are behind this uh, wonderful journey thanks to the government for giving me 12 days training government gave me 12 days training in ict in the year 2008 before that i was having a driver for my computer i know nothing in computers so after the training only slowly i started learning after 10 to 20 hours of training all together somehow i managed to do all the things which are need for the children thanks to the colleagues and headmasters who motivated me all through these 26 years thanks to my family which is supporting continuously for my work towards children Yeah, uh, I would like to put a disclaimer that uh, always I used to say my children, my children. So I am having at present in this school three hundred and sixty children. So students are my children, and thanks to the officials, um, uh, they are also like families all together, and official staffs who guided me a lot and supported me in each and every step towards children, young empowerment and improvement. One believes. Some staffs were like, <laughs> some staffs were like, uh, they always uh, be behind me. You have to do this, you have to do that. Like that, they always motivate me. Thanks to my friends from my school, district, state, national, and international, who extended their help for me on this journey. And especially my bags, my two wheelers, 
because already three years from the Kandam, each and every two wheeler ran around one lakh kilometers. My laptops, three to four or five, I don't know. My phones, n number of phones. I see gadgets and stationaries. Without this, my journey would not be successful at all. Above all, my dear teachers are my students who were before me, always in the class. In each and every classroom, navigating me and teaching me throughout my teaching journey. And this thanks continues because there are so many people who are behind this. I want to put each and every slide a photo with a photo. But a great thanks to all these people who were behind my success. Because all these 26 years, these were the schools I worked and of my HMs, my colleagues. They are, they are, you won't know, they are praying for me there, outside. <laughs> they were very much uh, thinking about me, telling me, you know, I didn't eat your breakfast, you didn't eat your lunch, like that. They always remind me. So thanks to all these good souls. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, as you know, I am a government school teacher working from 1996 to 2019. This is just a timeline. I have, I have worked in all these schools and now at present working in this government school uh, from uh, 2011. And 2008, I joined this school as a middle school teacher. And uh, these are the pro programs which I coordinated and mentored. And uh, these are the awards and recognitions for uh, my works. And uh, participated in many works like this. Actually, I could not include each and everything because it may be in number around 200 to 300. So this is enough. And special mention because uh, children, I always love children. Where whatever they need, I will do. Uh, like, uh, even uh, I keep up my promise to children, always, always. And uh, you know how I promise? I won't think of what I am promising them. Like that, things happened a lot. But everything turned out as I started earlier and stated earlier that God's plan and my plan. <laughs> so it was a wonderful plan. And these are the impacts and results of my work. And uh, these are the recognitions I got. This is the thing. Actually, these children, these faces, always thinking, always in a curious mode. If they don't know, if they are not clear, their face will be like this. I love this. And children always blossom like flowers. If they know the answer, if they are clear, they create much, much things beyond our imagination. They are my navigators, always. Here. I told you, every children is very curious and they are always want to know many things. As a teacher, I used to dance, I used to sing, I used to create things, I used to make origami, I used to put podcasts and speeches because a child is always uh, very, very attentive only for Hardly four minutes, five minutes, even the grown ups, we are also as the same. We cannot watch black things or simply sit and uh, look at something. We can't do that. So, the same way, children can't do. This letter I proudly present before you all the uh, former president, Mr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He was at the time president. I always used to teach my children about post office. Nowadays, it's uh, like a rare word. Children don't know about that. But uh, this is before 20 years, right? So this was the lesson. These pictures you are looking here, these are the lesson. 
and in this lesson they have to write a letter so i gave this postcard to all the children some children in my school they chose to write a letter to president of india as i showed you my village where i was working was a very small hamlet i didn't believe they will get a reply like this actually uh, i told them i was i was very happy okay okay children you can uh, write a letter to president and uh, 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 write it clearly neatly draw something like that that those are all uh, teacher things <laughs> we need to say but uh, what will children do this uh they wrote a letter address like they didn't write rashtrapati bhavan new delhi and all they wrote new delhi president of india and then sent the letter surprisingly one fine day the postman came running with these letters and he was so happy that from president how from president a letter he was delivering to a child in this small village called anichampalaya and i was you cannot imagine how happy i was so they learned what letter is how to write it and how to send it and they got a reply from president of india that was a wonderful moment it gave me energy for 10 years so what i did to took up as a junior red cross counselor and took around 12 children to haryana and they learned a lot in that campaign and got and received certificates and award from collector school education director and elementary education director this gave confidence in them and they started to explore more and i was part of i learned a lot from various activities and ncert is another home for me actually because my started exploring all these things and met wonderful people here i cannot forget mr rajaram sharma sir devara sir angel ma'am and many many people she was and sir was all very very motivating and impressive people were there and here mr arvind gupta i stand looking at him the single line he spoke on that day it changed my total uh, like i was having i was thinking that we can do that we can do this he was telling like no don't get so excited and don't mess up with your work do it one by one do everything as activities and don't think as a teacher think from the student perspective and here i learn how to Uh, 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 how to come up to the child level, and here we are, we are attending this program, and my favorite singer Shobha Mudgal had a chance to sing before her, and favorite hero Yashpal sir. When I was kid, I was watching Pursuit in TVs, and I had a chance to meet him in Delhi. I was so happy meeting him there. and part of that ncf a small 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 part of ncf 2005 here i believe in learning by doing so wherever i was posted whatever whichever school i go i used to tell the students to do practical work and then i ask them to explore i tell them to if i say uh, water boils in 100 degrees centigrade why are you just blindly believing me why don't you and queer i am not telling them to touch the water and explore it but they have to think they have to explore they have to search for information that is learning and they must not be inside the classroom so whenever i get a chance to take a child out of the classroom out of in district out of my state that is the happiest moment for me and here we met mr ab our favorite president abdul kalam ji and our eight students won gold medal in this nature for nature science skills ncsc program and we had a program activity based learning which was very good for children and teacher who is handling multiple classes that is multi grade teaching 
truly speaking, it's a very, very tough job because people don't understand teaching multi-classes and multi-grade teaching. In multi-grade teaching, I, I'm, I'm meaning that the people outside the education department, they normally think that if I say I am having third standard, first standard, and fourth standard, they can't understand that what is there. In one period, you are going to first standard, and in second period, you are going to first standard. No, not like that. All together, all the children of all the three classes will be before you. You have to handle it. For that, activity-based learning was a boon to me. See, textbooks, activity-based cards, each and everything is a guide for a teacher, right? So, I take all these things as guides for me and I keep on exploring many ideas and many ways to teach children. And uh, I was uh, called as uh, called uh, Delhi uh, for being nominated as executive committee member and general council member uh, to NCERT. In my village, Anichampalev, as I showed you before, the lovely children were there. But the thing is, normally the village government schools, even if you say school, people think of only high schools and higher secondary schools. There are schools, very small schools in the village where a government employee is there and they are responsible for the life of those kids because they don't have basic facilities. Even you cannot find a newspaper for an activity. The only newspaper you will find is in the tea shop. And that also, that man, he will not give you the tea. Tea man will not give you that uh, paper because he wants to put that for the snacks in the evening. So like that, so, so many villages are there. There, because of the rapport between the villagers and myself, I was uh, very much wondering, we cannot grow plants, we cannot grow flowering plants because we don't have compound wall. So I asked, uh, whenever the villagers pass by, so I used to ask them, we need a compound wall here so the children will play safe inside the school like that. And uh, surprisingly, the villagers built that 1.5 lakh compound wall. They were all below average learning numbers in each and every family. That was a great job done by them. And district collector award, awarded me award for that. It was a very surprise award actually. Because uh, this is for the sanitation program. Uh, because uh, I believe in, instead of just preaching everything, teaching everything, we must uh, set up a role model. So first, in our school, we built a toilet with the help of uh, Danida. At that time, uh, Danish and India had a scheme, Danida, so that we gave 10% and the villages gave 10% and the Danida gave 20% of our amount and then they built toilet. So seeing that, and then I started uh, telling slowly the parents and the about the authentication. Uh, they get the disease because of that, and uh, it will cause diarrhea slowly. Not like uh, we cannot change the mindset of people through a single landolan, right? So slowly they changed, and the whole uh, set of people who were living there uh, built toilets in their home. And uh, uh, I was awarded for that achievement. Uh, besides this, they are still using that. That is the real award. And whenever I get an award from the collector, so uh, urge comes in my mind. Why not my students? So in the first time in the history, in the district, children from the rural school won a prize outsmarting the urban matriculation schools who were spending a lot, lot of money in preparing the dance and uh, uh, showing all the things to everybody that we cannot do, we cannot afford. Uh, you can see in that uh, picture, we used umbrellas and we sticked the flag around that 
when we were rolling and uh, walking here and there, showing everyone. So the children did physical activities wonderfully that the collector was surprised. They did rope malcolm, 14 yoga in a row, and uh, they performed very well, and he was so surprised. And to stun us, we got a prize in that program. Normally, it's a very, very tough job to get a prize there. And I have to thank those children even now, because whatever I told, they did. You can see the asana they have done here. This is called Vrichigasana. It's very, very tough. 14 people, they did it very nicely, very easily. Thanks to the children again. And these were the prizes won by those children. And uh, this is our bala room where children enjoy drawing. And this is the part of the prize. And another is a trip to Pichavaram mangrove forest near Chitambaram. So this was a nice opportunity for them. And uh, uh, to uh, actually, I was very grateful to the forest officer because the children went in an AC bus for the first time to Chidambaram. And water scarcity about conservation and awareness program, we keep on conducting that. And uh, we all know which is the need of the hour. And from 15, 20 years, I've been telling all these things through songs and through small, small skits and explain teaching learning materials and I created for the multigrade class a rubber stamp. Actually, uh, children was the uh, they they were they were the uh, navigators who made me to cre create this scene because normally in the schools we have uh, four lines notebook, two lines notebook. Nowadays, our government is issuing all the notebooks now, free of cost. Right. But in those days, those days means 15 years back, we were not having notebooks like that and children have to buy, which they cannot afford. So I will get single side Xerox papers and then with this rubber stamp, I will click on that and children can write on that and then practice because half of the letter will be there and then they will write the uh, the remaining part that will be easy for them to write. And for this, Tata gave an innovative award. And for joyful learning sessions, I took classes for the newly appointed block resource educated teachers, BRTEs, and science popularization program because we have. have to think and act, we think blindly, and if we think and act, that will help us and our future children, citizens, everyone. And I believe extracurricular activities play a vital role in child's education and the all-round development, because he, this is the area where in the school only child will safely uh, give up and then he can stand up again with confidence. We must enroll children in various activities, whether they win or not. That is not at all the problem. But the child must participate in programs like this. That confidence lies in the hands of the teachers. I believe in that. I always tell the children to participate. Surprisingly, this girl got a prize in national level drawing competition. And uh, these children got prize for cultural program regarding iodized salt, using iodized salt. These children are wonderful performers in folk arts. For my family reasons, I shifted from Vilpram district to Chengalpati district 
which was then Kanchipuram district, now split into two districts. So one is Kanchipuram and the other is Chengalpattu. Joined in Panchayat Union Middle School, Astinapuram. This was the school in 2008 when I joined here as a sixth standard middle school teacher. These were the two buildings uh, where I came, a lovely little school amidst of green, green situation. Yeah, very nice ambience was there and uh, only children were around in that middle school, 70 students were there. Now, this is the school which I have upgraded it into 10th standard. Up to 10th standard, it has been upgraded. I will explain you why. This is the present photo of the school because children always in village areas, they only go to the school which is located near their home, especially girl children. And parents, they always fear of sending them to far off places. I am, I am speaking from the village side. So remote villages, which are still, they are thinking like that, if we have up to 10th standard, I will send my daughter up to 10th standard teacher. If you bring 10th standard here, surely I'll make her to uh, read here itself. Like that, they were conversing and they told me, and in that school, we had a chance and uh, from NCRT, Professor Mr. Butt came with his team members to my school and uh, these were the letters given by them. They appreciated the school ambience and he loved and enjoyed. And uh, this is student Buma who created a PowerPoint presentation uh, telling that uh, there is a saying in Tamil, Ilamayil Kal, it is a paramuri. Ilamayil Kal, in the sense, you have to learn in your early age. But don't mistake that saying and send the child to work for as a breadwinner. Here, she create a, created a super PowerPoint and that was very nice and she got prize in that and he loved the presentation and he played with the children who stole the laddu from the laddu jar that day that would be wonderful so he played with the children and children enjoyed playing and uh, they he uh, advised the teachers that he also gifted to be here and to upgrade the school. And in 2008, government gave me 12 days training through Project Shiksha by Microsoft. There I started learning. Uh, till uh, 2008, I don't know computers at all. I know this is a computer and it does many work. But I didn't get a chance to learn that because in our daily routine, we have to do household works, go to school, do the school work, back again home, and then household work, and we don't find time to go for classes, separate classes at all. And because of the 12 days training, I learned a lot, and a new window opened before me, and I started looking out, and got many friends, and because of that, they try to use alternative energy. You have seen sunrise. Right? Have you seen sunrise? This was a project. As I earlier mentioned you, children must learn through doing. Learning by doing is the best. So, uh, children, one national level I can award for that project. And uh, after winning, we went to Ahmedabad. This program I love very much because they call children to get the award. If the school wins, it's not the teacher to go and get the award. The children must accompany and we got all these things as part of price, which is a very, very big thing for a small school like which is located here. And it was almost 70,000 rupees worth. 
What happened, you know? It was only 70 students, 80 students like this. School's infrastructure was very good. Children loved seeing all this. They changed the school and came to our school. And even it was telecasted in the TV. The winning moments and the sharing of the ideas. And we got lots and lots of friends. And lots of friends means lots and lots of ideas. So I extended this program. We won, our school won in 2010. And after that, I coordinated this program state level and then throughout the state from 2010 to 2017, 2018, 5 to 7 lakhs, even 6 to 7 lakhs, it may be per year as prize money for Tamil Nadu itself. Actually, teachers who work for children, we came out in, through this program. We had very good friends through this program. We exchanged ideas through this program. And even the simplest idea worked very well. And we all used it. And it was very, very uh, wonderful journey all these eight years because of this Design for Change program. And our Sarvasiksha Abhyan team supported a lot to conduct the program throughout Tamil Nadu and this was part of computer aided learning through which teachers learned how to take photographs, how to create a video and how to implement and how to upload it. Like ICT skills slowly emerged from this program. And teachers who work for children, like the one from Achi Mangalam teacher, Sasi Reka, and her student, Mega Varshini, they made us proud by winning in the Design for Change contest as the best five, win five winners. And from the best five, they chose one school to go to Mexico. And we traveled all along to Mexico and that was a milestone in our elementary education because not a single child, I think so, not a single child has gone to foreign trip from the elementary education department. And she was the first one to go there. And she learned a lot and she is still in connection with us. She enjoyed a lot there. She shared her ideas. They created a plastic wall for their school. That was the project which children started using in their home too. This was a very big, uh, wonderful thing which we, a little study was there taking her to foreign countries. Uh, but everything as I told you, God is having so many wonderful joys for me. So, these taught her enjoying that. We took her there and we achieved what we need. Here, after doing this program, started teaching ICT skills to teachers because which is going to be the future of education too. Educational technology teaching, learning, everything happened step by step. And through department too, we started teaching teachers. And here, what you are seeing is, we tried, as I told you before, we tried to upgrade our school to high school, up to 10th standard. At that time, Mr. Karunakaran, Director RMSA, and Director Mr. Mani, helped a lot to upgrade our school and around it, it was to help around 250 students around our village. See, already I told you this is a hamlet. We have only two or three streets in this village. But the surrounding village students who were completing their fifth standard in their own village were able to come to our school. And at present, 364 students are studying in our school. I am so proud to tell this 
बिकॉज भूमा देवी शक्ति सुमति मुत्तु प्रिया राजेश खन्ना ऑल दीज चिल्ड्रन दे वेर लर्निंग विथ सिंगल कंप्यूटर इन द स्कूल वी वेर नॉट हैविंग कंप्यूटर्स I am Arun. I have made supplementary reader book into PowerPoint presentation. He created this presentation. Do you play this game? Do you know this game? Mohana loves go to the village. So the voice he gave. Just we were having a single laptop with us. With that he learned, achieved, and got appreciation from sir. Not only that, because of this appreciation, we were he he was very very curious in learning systems, and at present now he has completed his diploma and he is working in Freshworks. I was coordinating textbook work for around four years for the primary class social science textbook. where i met lot and lot of teachers and uh, i started teaching ict skills to the teachers when i saw the teachers from who were uh, well in ict uh, gadgets and uh, using ict skills i want to train government school teachers also like that and i got a chance for that through this textbook preparation work children of the panchayat union middle school they also participated in the collectorate function which i motivated them a lot i went for the book review and they they were very happy to meet me and another thing is normally government school teachers and government school headmasters want to do a lot to the schools but there is a lack because of funds we have a wonderful program called csr corporate social responsibility which helps the school in many ways and in our school we have put a memorandum of understanding with the satyabama institute of science and technology and uh, these links are having that go which was put by tamil nadu government which helped us in many ways normally what this go says is we have to implement this go through the chief educational officer and in this we will have two parts one in our mother tongue and the other in english we have to fill this up and then we have to we can get 10 to 12 types of help from the concerned authority who is going to sign on the other side here we in my school for around 12 to 13 years they are being helping us with whatever needs we are having regarding water sanitation teaching staffs and supporting staffs computers and whenever we want to go on a trip or we want to participate in a marathon they send a bus for us not only our schools this is mrs maria zina chancellor of satya baba who is the soul behind this beauty people and this is veni panchayat union middle school teacher who is always thinking of her children and upgrading her children's skills and this was the scene before because i had only one desktop on one laptop when i got was a middle school we had the mou with satya baba and we had the whole engineering lab with us so each and every it was my dream actually see it will it will not be nice i am holding the laptop and showing the child that this is this this is that it, it will it will not it will not be good for the child and the child will not enjoy that if he sits by himself and he learns by himself and he works trial and error he makes 
and then he learns that will be very nice and he will not forget at all and at present in our school government has given high tech lab for us where we have 10 computers through satyabhama university we conduct in summer may month five days holiday jolly day really it is very very jolly days because all these five days morning we board a bus at 8 o'clock from i take all the nearby schools children to because all are primary schools and there is a hidden agenda the next year they are going to come to my school so now itself i will ask them to enroll in our school so for that i pick up from all these schools and then we start our journey we reach this lab we learn a lot and then return slowly one by one i joined all these schools which hms were very much interested and at present the because of the mou the uh, universe uh, sorry the institute is paying around 1 and 1/2 lakh as salary to many people they are they include watchmen gardener sweepers sanitary workers and many more because this is a very very big help for us and needful help for us my children won silver medal in spirit of community awards as i told you wherever i go and get a award i love my children also to be there so like that i got a award from our president and i came to delhi and i got the award like that in 2015 i got the award in 2011 12 and uh, my children got in 2015 it was a proudest moment for me they played a lot in taj mahal they enjoyed a lot in delhi looking around new places new faces new culture they enjoyed a lot all these five children were selected for that award and we came back proud and pride and so many awards and presentations and as i told you earlier this girl buma she was very good in analytical thinking she was in sixth standard i already told you i promised children <laughs> and i don't know how uh, big the promises will be i promised this girl she was telling what you are teaching the way of your teaching is very nice okay but after eighth standard because it was a middle school we had only up to first standard to eighth standard after eighth standard i had to go to other school so we are not having 10th standard here so i just uh, told her don't worry buma this is 2008 so you are studying sixth standard uh, next year you will be in seventh eighth and then uh, ninth we will upgrade our school within 3 years i was not knowing what are the procedures to upgrade a school really it was a very tough job for that i have to join in a textbook preparation team and then i step by step i did all the process to upgrade the school and the school upgraded in 2011 december and uma this girl uma learned here 10 standard she complete she completed here and at present she is working in zoho as a developer and each and every time if she is getting hike she comes to school in uh, for august 15th or uh, 26 january she will also get a leave there in her office she will come and recently she came with her child i felt goosebumps i can't explain how how happy i was and uh, she met us with her husband and then she told never stop your work teachers see not only me all the teachers in our schools are such a lovely souls they always think of children and their better life because this underprivileged children are the pillar of our society 
She is a true motivator of our school. At present, she is working in Zoho. And this guy, who is sitting and ah, telling out something, he was a dropout from his school. We were struggling to get children to admit in our school because we were not having enrollment to upgrade our school, right? So he was roaming here and there. I asked him, what are you doing? He told, I don't like schools. But our teachers convinced him. Our Tamil teacher Gayatri told him, no, no, she was the headmistress that time. She told him, please don't get afraid. No need to come to school daily. You come one or two days, weekly twice, as you wish. Like that, we motivated, she motivated him and he passed 10th standard. And now, how his life transformed, you know? This is the boy who was dropped out. His name is Patipan. He's a bodybuilder and he was selected in the bodybuilding competition. He's a natural bodybuilder. You see, looking at these things, this is the energy we get a lot because uh, children are the boosters for us. So these are a very, very few, which I don't have time to uh, uh, explain and share with you all because all these 26 years of journey, if I take each and everything, there, there is a huge bunch of photos with me, which will take uh, episodes to episodes, or I have to create a series. So, uh, I, as I told you, we get buses from Satyabama, and we participate in marathon and cultural programs. Apart from all these things, there are so many obstacles for children in villages to complete their education. Some children are afraid that they cannot pass grade 12. And so they complete 10th standard in our school. And another thing is, I upgraded the school because if you complete 10th standard, there are so many jobs that we can get and the child can become a breadwinner in his home. There are so many families who are having single parents. There are so many people who have, um, sorry to say this, so many people who drink a lot and then they leave the family alone. And then some uh, parents are there who leave the child with the grandparents and they go for work to many other places. So, to help those children, I started exploring and extending my help to children who complete 10th standard to join ITI, which is called as Industrial Training Institute. Uh, one of my uh, one of my friend is there. She's a friend and a family member. Actually, uh, she only explained me what are the chances and what are the courses they have. Then number of courses. And if they complete the courses, they can get apprenticeship in industries. And then if you perform well, and they will be posted there. Or else, if you want to go out and work some other, some other places, or if you want to continue your studies. See, if you complete ITI, you can go and join diploma, and then you can go to degree, and even you can become an engineer there. It's not like only you have to study in the school, and then complete your plus two, and then complete your, like that, that only people know only that route to go and reach college education. But there are so many, many ways that we have to extend as a teacher, we have to extend our help to students who are needy in this area. So every year, here you are seeing folders here. Uh, so each and every year, that, uh, every year, I ask children who wish to go to this uh, Industrial Training Institute. And so many children have got job here because of this and uh, so, some children have completed this ITA training and they have put up in very good companies and because of the talent they are uh, continuing their studies too with the help of the industry itself okay. they, they are uh, giving money for them 
Okay, ma'am, we have got last uh, five minutes left and it was wonderful <laughs> to know about your journey. You have been such a passionate teacher towards your children and your children you, may have become like great people. They have joined so many courses and uh, there's yes, a very bright future which is uh, looking forward for them. So, yes, ma'am, ma uh, before wrapping up, uh, I have a question to ask you. So, may I? Yes, ma'am. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so, ma'am, you've worked on so many projects. Uh, you have done some awareness projects uh, for, uh, for the children. And uh, you also mentioned that uh, you took them uh, to a place. And uh, that was their first uh, AC uh, journey, AC bus journey, right? So, yes, I'm yes, sure they must have been really excited. And uh, yes, in, throughout your journey, you have done, accomplished so many things. Is there anything that you regret? Is there anything that you would like to change, reverse, yeah. anything? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that is the evaluation methodology which we are applying in our schools. Okay. Because, because, because of our population, it's very tough to do that. I agree with that. Mm. But see, in the screen, you are seeing artificial intelligence, right? Mm. In our school, we are having two or three lessons about artificial intelligence. This program I have done and uh, I have motivated so many children. But this is my interest. I love children, so I do this. Mm. But it's not in the case of each and every one. The world is going somewhere. Yeah, my children are not knowing anything about that. And the evaluation methodology, which one day, which is not uh, making the children to think, that thing I want to change, ma'am. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really hope that uh, it will happen very, very soon. And uh, yes, all the very best for the upcoming journey of yours, ma'am. And all the very best with your students. I'm really hopeful. Know. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I want to conclude with this. Yeah. As I told you, I promised children and I promised the 10 standard students to get a 92 to 100 so that I will take them for a trip yeah. in a airplane. Okay. And this girl, Ramya, already uh, I conducted online classes and all. She got 120 certificates. Even from NCRT, she got one certificate. And uh, she got 92 marks and flew to Payamutu recently. <laughs> wow, congratulations, uh, Ramya, right, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Congratulations. And this is our Tamil Nadu initiative, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no. And this idea I want to share with teachers. Uh, actually, this was a dream for me, that uh, uh, magazine. My 12-year-old dream. And uh, dream comes true, always. Because there are so many people who are dreaming like that. That like-minded people are all together now. And uh, recently, Tamil Nadu uh, took this initiative and they are giving uh, Ten Chitta, Kanavas here, and the middle one is Mujal for uh, small kids 1 to 5, sorry, 4 and 5. And Ten Chitta is for 6 to 8, uh, 9 standard students. And uh, this Kanavas is for Teachers Magazine, which is coming through Tamil Nadu government. And I am so happy. I am part of that. All right. And Thank you. Is... Yeah, ma'am, we don't have any more time left. And it was very interesting to know each and every detail yes, regarding your journey. So, thank you so much for being a part of this program. Thank you once again. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thanks, thank you to all thank our... Thank my school. Yes. Thank you. Thank you to our viewers as well for this entire very interesting session. If In case you have missed it, watch it on our YouTube channel, which is NCERT official. We are wrapping up this particular program, but please stay here for our next program, which is Sayog, and the topic of discussion would be developing healthy relationship. I'm Tanvi Kurana, taking a leave of you. Thank you. Keep on watching PM Evidya channels. Namaskar. Thank you.